Hello, and welcome to another episode of Alex's Afternoon Art Show. I did that very stilted, I don't know why. Uh, but today, we are drawing BB Hood, or Buletta, uh, whatever your preference is, uh, from the Darkstalkers series, as a part of the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 mural. So, if all goes well, this should probably be a shorter one, because it's a smaller character, so... In theory, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I can't judge these things anymore. I'm always wrong, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. I think that's going to impact the the actual length of the video. They're usually about 20 minutes, anyways. So, anyways, roll the intro. <laughs> now, so we have everything set up already, but. Um, what I will do is, I will do my, my customary thing of removing all of the characters who we don't need just yet. Um, so that I can minimize the amount of characters that are being shown off. That don't need to be there just yet. Um, so yeah, what you won't necessarily realize just yet is that, um, uh, my brain's failing me, is that, yeah, BB Hood is quite small. Um, and yeah, you can see her just about there. She is quite small. Which is why I say this could very well be a quicker one. Um, but yeah, today, well, when it comes to this character, we're dealing with the situation of where this is another halfway house character like, uh, like Tron Von here. Uh, of where she's kind of halfway between semi kind of more of what I would normally do and then the more stylized animated look uh, so she's a bit of a halfway house in that she has the bigger eyes and she obviously has a big mouth because uh, of the big smile and everything like this but it's kind of a halfway house between uh, between the kind of more animated look and what I would normally do because a lot of the characters who have more of the kind of the, I don't know like my regular facial structures would be like, I don't know, like the Strider or any of these characters. Basically anyone on the Marvel side uh, has those kind of more normal features for the most part. Uh, or the features that I would kind of normally stick to. Obviously characters stick out a little bit more like Hulk and stuff like that, whoops. Uh, as being ones that kind of peek out of the norm a little bit more on that in that route. And I mean, Sansan's one of those characters who kind of goes a little outside of that as well. So I mean, this is the thing, I'm trying to do something kind of halfway there, halfway in between both of these. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start removing the background characters. Because uh, they don't need to be on. So I may as well do that now. Just save myself the time. Um, but yeah, this is the thing with BB Hood. I should open up my reference. I already have it, have it ready, just I don't have it. Uh, in the window. Yeah, now you can see the lighting's changed dramatically because, you know, there's a Chrome tab open now. Um, but, yeah. So, the thing that I was thinking with the pose was, because obviously there's the kind of two distinct things. With BB Hood, you can either go the kind of the cutesy route or you can go the creepy route. And I decided to stick closer to the cutesy route because that's usually what the art tends to depict. But, um, I decided to again go for a bit of a halfway situation of where you can see the Uzi there, but obviously there's the the, the, the cutesy smile and all this stuff, so it's it's kind of a bit of both. Uh, this basket is a little small. Actually, no, it's about the same size as it normally is. I could do the rounding at the bottom a little bit more, though, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Um, yeah. There's a few things here where I'm like, eh, this could maybe do with a bit of a, an adjustment and stuff like this. Maybe her eyes could stand to be a little bigger, I don't know. Um, yeah. You see, this is the thing, I mean, with the way that Bengus does these characters, most of the, most of the characters generally have that more kind of animated look to them. A large amount of them do. So it's, it can be difficult to parse because 90% of BB Hood's art is Bengus. Um, the stuff that isn't is either concept art or it's uh, fan art. Um, so this is the thing that I'm looking at here is that generally what I'm trying to parse is Bengus art. So I'm trying to think, I could probably still make those eyes a little bigger I think. A tad 
bigger. Because I feel like the size of the mouth is gonna look weird if the eyes aren't aren't more on the animated side. So Yeah. Largely though, I shouldn't have to do any crazy adjustments to her features. Otherwise I'm going to need to, you know, tone down some of the lines around the hair because her hair is very light color. I mean I even had to do this with the mega red last time. Uh, was that, yeah, I ended up having to thin out a lot of the lines because whenever I was following more closely, it ended up looking too dark. Um, but yeah, I think, rather than continuing my, uh, my preamble, I might just begin and start figuring things out that way. That might be, uh, be better just to, to learn as we go. But yeah, uh, this is probably going to be a situation where I'm going to have to, uh, after I'm done here, I'm going to have to try and bring that file size down a little bit because we're back to a gig, which I had fixed before, but now we're, we're uh, escalating quite a lot in terms of file size. So this is stuff you don't need to hear, but uh, yeah, I may as well just ramble about it anyways. Um, but yeah, we, yeah, I do probably need to condense this down a touch. But yeah, this, this one shouldn't be too bad anyways. Anyways, I will actually start it now, and and let you just listen to the music. So. is our details done. Uh, I decided to just do that all in the one run there because I feel like that would have just uh, made things easier. There was a point where I was thinking to myself, eh, I should probably talk, but uh, I thought, eh, eh, <laughs> I don't feel like it. But um, yeah, I'm trying to add little bits of detailing here where possible. But to be honest, I don't think this kind of requires it that much because I think we'll be doing a little bit more We'll need to do a little bit more work with the dots, I think, to get some of that stuff through. Because, I mean, unlike the uh, the apron and stuff like that, there's not much detailing I can do because that type of thing is quite firm. Um, so it doesn't quite crease in the same way that a lot of this stuff would. Um, and even her little shawl wouldn't really crease that much. It'd just be around kind of here where it's a little bunched and stuff like this and a little bunched um, because it just kind of falls any which way so realistically speaking there shouldn't really be too much creasing or anything going around um, I mean the bow and all that stuff there should be a little bit there maybe at the front here like I say a little bit of creasing kind of going up and down the apron just a tiny little bit but in the same sense as I say it is, aprons are generally a little firm, so they generally don't crease a huge amount. I mean, particularly whenever there's these ruffles. It's long gauges of it, so. <laughs> yeah. I 
think I will just carry on and do our, and start getting our dots ready. Um, Cause yeah, that'll be kind of where we get to do a little bit of this detailing stuff. That's where we'll kind of be getting through a lot of it. So anyways, yes, I, I will do that and then I'll be back. I, I suppose. dots done so it's given a little bit of depth at least um, I got a little darker than I, than I normally would for a lot of these I normally uh, tend to stick fairly um, light on the shading but in the same we can't really do much else uh, elsewhere here so this is kind of what we got to roll with um, yeah I didn't mention it before um, but I, uh, I did go a little more anime on the eyes, um, just to kind of make things match a little more. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I'm fighting cables at the moment, and stuff is constantly falling over here because of the setup I've got going on. Anyways, um, I will I will continue and I'll do the uh, the colors here now. So, uh, yeah, I will I will start doing that. shading. So, yeah, the, uh, I mean, a lot of the colors that we've been doing more recently have been rather simple, so it's not too difficult all in all. Uh, and it's making life a lot easier in that sense, I guess, that characters tend to only have like two or three colors, like in the case of maybe three, four colors, I think, uh, not including the basket. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, even including the basket, there's like another color or two there um, so yeah I mean it, 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 generally speaking these are a little easier I mean we're only an hour and a half in we're nearly done here so this is a shorter one mercifully um, but yeah uh, yeah I mean this is a, this is a kind of a eh, mediocre one I guess <laughs> uh, I think see some of these I kind of screwed myself on because I did uh, the base sketches in about 20 minutes for some of them um, which means I just kind of slapped them together and I didn't really give them the time to be halfway decent. So, because of that, uh, I end up having to do a lot of work in post, or i.e. now, uh, to make them look a little better. And they kind of work with some of the weird looking proportions. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, not to, not to excuse, and I generally think they're alright even still. Um, but yeah, I suppose we shall get moving and get, get finishing. Um, so yeah, we'll be done pretty soon. Anyways, I'll get on with this.
Ah, so there is our shading done. Oh, God. Um, and yeah, so yeah, uh, all we've got to do now is the light line and then we are finished. So I will create our light line. And grab the color. And grab the colors. Okay, let's may as well grab our black. No point in leaving until afterwards. Just make life easier now. So now all we've got to do is the light line and then we're done. So realistically this has been a reasonably quick one because we're still under two hours and uh, by the time this is done we will not be under two hours so i got to do the right side. So I'll do this quickly and then that'll be us. Okay, so that is everything for BB Hood. Um, that's our light line done. That's all, all of everything done. So now, um, yeah, I think our red is maybe a little, a little on the yellow, uh, on the orange scale, which is odd because I did explicitly put it to be on the the pinkier scale, but I guess that didn't work. And yeah, now you can see just how small the character is. So we'll turn everybody else back on, um, and then we shall uh, zoom into the appropriate amount so that everything is all well and good. So now it's all of those characters from there, which is funny. So this is character number 33 of 56. Um, so next time we are doing Gambit and we are really encroaching on the edges of the 8.3% scale um, but realistically we aren't going to go over that for a while actually and it's because um, the remaining few characters here aren't exactly huge but the characters over here do take up a lot of space so we will uh, we will kind of meet the edges of that after a few episodes, but we aren't actually going to go over it for quite a while, which is surprising, uh, but good. Um, but yeah, as I say, the next character we have is Gambit. So yeah, that is uh, that's what we'll be at next week. But yeah, that is that is us for today. Um, another red character, and then I'll have to try and. Figure out what Gambit will be. I think I'll probably make him uh, probably make him like a, a pinky purple color or something because uh, hmm, I don't even know if that will show up on him. Anyways, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out next time. That's 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 the future me's problem. But yeah, um, I think everything is coming together nice and well. Everyone is. Uh, it's all nice and colorful um, so far, at least, um, and things. Ooh, are remaining uh, reasonably diverse in terms of colors but yeah um, yeah I suppose that, that's us so I will I will sign off here so uh, if you like the video do what you'd normally do whether that be liking it or whatever it is that you'd normally do I don't mind um, so long as it's positive um, or not negative uh, would be a better way of saying it and yeah, uh, same deal. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If you would, for whatever reason, prefer not to, um, that's fine. I don't mind. Um, and yeah, if you decide to watch the next video, I will see you next time. And uh, and yeah, uh, since that is us, I will I will just uh, say goodbye, and that will be us, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, bye bye.